Hi, it's Chris, and welcome back to the sea. What do we have on the show today? I don't know. Hi, it's Chris, and welcome back to the sea. What do we have on the show today? We have a Ziff 500 Plus. My phone is ringing. Here we go again. Fourth time doing this. This is my fourth time because the damn phone keeps ringing. Hi, it's Chris, and welcome back to the sea. What do we have on the show today? Today we have the Ziff 500 Plus in its unique form. A Pi Storm with a 02W. And what is in this box? Special delivery from Mr. Piotr in Poland. This is the latest and greatest thing for your Pi Storm that you're going to want to buy as soon as humanly possible. This is the Frame Thrower. What the hell's the Frame Thrower? Expansion for the for the Pi Storm that connects to your 500 or your 2000. Now, I don't know about the 1200s. I'm sure that's coming soon, so just hang in there. So the Pi Storm will connect to your Amiga. Just an example for now. The frame thrower will connect to your Denise. And then this ribbon goes to the camera cable of your Pi. This eliminates the need for a separate video adapter. Beep! And allows single source video, RTG and RGB through the Pi Storm's uh, HDMI port. So the adapter simply installs into the Denise socket and you connect this ribbon. And there's a couple other little tricks that we can do after the fact, but before we install the Pi Storm, now this is the Pi Storm that I use for just bench work, okay? So we're gonna turn the 500 on, it should boot in 0.3 seconds, because it's pretty daggone quick. <coughs> There we go, 3.1 ROM, Amiga 500 Plus in its unique form, I call it the Ziff 500 because I put all the chips in Ziff sockets so I can test stuff without the back bit. Now, we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna pull out the 68,000. My card is in here. It's my Pi Storms card. So why not use Emu 68 Imager, right? It's a great utility. MJA65 did this. Oh, it's on 2.0 now, so I gotta download the new one. So we're gonna download this one, 2.0.3.1. All right, we're gonna run emu68 imager command run ADF. Control A, Control C, Control V. Replace everything. There, there's all of your stuff. We'll take all of these. Copy. ADFs. Just put them all in there. Everybody's in the same pool. Located your Hyperion and stuff. So finally I got all my stuff in order. Fun tool. Let's see if this new version works. I like the little Emu68 tool thing. Yeah, it's downloading all the stuff from Aminet. All the, the goodness that is the programs that you would have to do manually. This tool does everything. The new Peter K. Icon Library, IDE Fix 97, LHA, I don't know what that is, Miko, MUI is being installed, PFS3, Picasso, Required Tools, Search Replace, everything, SMB2. You can't beat this tool. Vince Shell, look at that. It's just rocking. There it goes, copying all the packages. And here goes Workbench. I'm just doing tool types right now. My little SD card is a blinking away like, uh, like Mad Wallet writes there. See a little blue? This is awesome. It has a USB C and a button, which we'll get into in a minute. There's a little uh, Pico flash type thing on here. That's going to let you put this in USB mode so you can copy firmwares to it. Right now it's in scanline mode. All right, so there's the the, the, the frame thrower adapter in my ZIF socket. And then I just put my Denise in the same way in it. Wow. This is an 8373R4PD Super Denise because this is a 500+. plus. It doesn't work on this Raspberry Pi. Shit. This is a Pi Storm 32. The Pi Storm 32 is not going to work in here. This is the Raspberry Pi, I don't know, 3B Plus. And it has the correct camera connector. 
So I'm going to cheat because you shouldn't do this. And this is wrong, but it'll work for temporarily. Since my Pi Storm is now a 3B+, plus, the Pi Storm I have in here is not long enough. So I'm going to double stack a GPIO. I got a weird 90. I'll be able to see the lights. Remove the Denise, place the frame thrower, put the Denise in, connect the cable to the frame thrower, metallic contacts facing down. Connect to the FPC cable to the Raspberry Pi camera connector. All right. You have to edit your command line EMU68 fat partition and add the Unicam. And I'll link all this in the description below. It's on the uh, GitHub slash PyStorm uh, website. And then you click on flame, frame, fl fl frame thrower Denise. Sorry, I just had a stroke. All right, so we have to go edit the command line.txt, which is here. And we have to add two lines. There we go. This enables integer pixel, so it'll... This enables pixel perfect pass-through. It's advised to set the HDMI output for PAL, otherwise you're gonna have too strong tearing effects. Energize. It's all a Pi Storm logo, but I'm still getting video here. There we go. There we go. Yay! All right, so, in theory, I don't need this anymore. So this has scan lines enabled in the firmware. It's a little darker. Um, I am in 50 hertz. Pal, you can see switch to 60. Let's see what happens when I switch to 60. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now that's switching. 50, back in the center. Cool. All right. So let's pop the disc out. So by adding those two lines to the boot config, per the instructions, that enables the frame thrower to output single source video, don't worry about this anymore, to the Amiga. Now I have nothing on here because I didn't do anything to this. Uh, sysinfo, perfect. Sysinfo shuts off. It, ru it runs on both still, but you're just outputting single source video. Scan lines are enabled on this firmware. I'll go over how to do that in a second. Some people want the scan lines to simulate your old your old CRTs, that's why it's a little bit darker. But look at that, crystal clear video into the camera port of a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus in my case, because my Zero 2W doesn't have a camera port. It's only got the PCI little header, and uh, that's not right for the frame thrower. It has to use the camera port. But check it out, I mean, it's perfectly working fine. There's no variation in speed, there's no tearing. There's no issues. Now, I still have RGB if I want it. Scan lines I can take off in a minute. And I'll show you how to do that. It's with a simple cable and a button. Yep, there's my Pi Storm 040. 390 MIPS, 348 megaflops. Not bad. Cool. And then we're back to RTG video. Incredible work. Incredible, incredible work. So that's that. I'm going to turn this off. Now I'm going to show you how to do the scan line fix. Frame thrower. So right here under Dr. Chris's face is a file called frame thrower. And what I need to do is I need to connect the USB-C cable to my computer. But my computer is USB type A. So I'm going to use this little A to C adapter to cheat. And let's see. Button. Amiga. There it is. Okay. So you got to have the proper cable. Now, I can take this drive, and I take this firmware, and I put it here, and it reboots on its own, and flashes itself to non-scan line. Let's see if it worked. Look at that. Perfect, perfect image. It's even better than the monitor next to it. RGB looks brighter because this is a newer monitor that's an older monitor. It doesn't have as much power left in there. But look at the clarity. Look at that. Single source video on your Raspberry Pi. This is a unique setup for demonstration purposes only. Your results may be different depending on your Pi. Make sure you have a camera port. It sucks that I can't use my little baby, but it does work fine. 
AGA versions will follow. Special thank you to Archie Tech, who sells these. Claude and Mr. Schwartz, your brains are like NASA level. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, everybody on the Pie Storm team. You guys are incredible. You have a nice team. I have me. So that's incredible. Single source video on a Raspberry Pi. Single source video on a Pi Storm. Now you are truly HDMI for everything. I believe audio is in the works, so HDMI audio will come eventually. You'll probably have to edit something to that config text. Follow the instructions, super simple. Uh, the only reason I had issues was because of my Raspberry 2, or 02W doesn't have the right port, so I pulled my Pi 3B Plus out of my 1200. However, due to the Pi Storm on the 500 2000 models, the USB ports and Ethernet were a little bit too close for comfort and they were hitting here. I did try double stacking the Pi riser, however, the pins are too short. So I put a 90 on there because its pins were long enough to reach into the socket for demonstration purposes of this. My phone is going off like mad. It is Kevin. Kevin talking about the Amiga Bill speech at Amiga 40. Dude, you're like a month late. Single source video on boot floppies. So special thanks to Archie Tech who are selling these in Poland and they ship all over the European Union. And special thanks for shipping me one. It is 32 US monies. It excludes shipping costs. So please keep in mind that your shipping will vary. But 32 bucks. I've seen them as high as 59 euros. So let's just say it's between 35 and 100 bucks, depending on who's selling it. But if you get them from Archie Tech right now, I'll put it right, I'll put this link right in the description. If you use my code, I don't have one, you'll save absolutely nothing. <laughs> You're gonna wanna buy them before everybody else does because what's gonna happen is this video is gonna come out and everybody's gonna jump on this and they're gonna be sold out faster than I can eat chicken wings. And that's pretty damn fast. So that is it for this video. This has been a learning curve for me as any Pi Storm device is for me. A frame thrower, single source video for your Pi Storm using its camera port on a 3A or better. The 02W doesn't have it, so you have to have a 3A or better. 3A will fit without modifications. 3B Plus or even a Raspberry Pi 4 will fit on the Pi Storm 500's board. It's just the USB ports and network card have to be removed, or ports have to be removed to fit flush. I, for example, on this, for demonstration purposes only, I'm using a 90, which would never fit inside of Amiga 500 case due to keyboard and space restrictions. Thanks for watching. And I hope you get one. Amazing drive, Chris. Keep the Amiga dream alive. Please consider joining the Patreon. Yo, it's Big Snoop, D-O-Double Gears. When people ask me, do I really know Dr. Chris? To which I say, hell yeah, I know him. So Thanks for checking this out. And as Dr. Chris says, thanks for watching, and we hope you learned something. Wow, that was great. Please consider helping Dr. Chris. Dr. Chris, he's the best there ever was. I can tell you that personally, besides me, of course. Uh, what do you know from funny, you bastard?